Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to differentiate sine x using limits. Now, if the function of x is sine x, then its derivative is going to be equal to, in the limit, as change in x approaches zero, the function of x plus change in x minus the function of x over change in x. Now, as this is the case, then the derivative of sine x is going to be equal to, in the limit, as change in x approaches zero, sine x plus change in x minus sine x over change in x. Now, because of this formula over here, okay, this is going to be equal to, in the limit, as change in x approaches zero, sine x cos change in x plus cos x sine change in x minus sine x over change in x. And this can be simplified. So we get equal to, in the limit, as change in x approaches zero, sine x multiplied by cos change in x minus 1 plus cos x sine change in x over change in x. Now, this is going to be equal to, in the limit, as change in x approaches 0, sine x times cos change in x minus 1 over change in x plus cos x times sine x over change in x. Now this is the same as sine x multiplied by in the limit, as change in x approaches zero, cos change in x minus one over change in x, plus cos x times in the limit, as change in x approaches zero, sine change in x over change in x. Now, as change in x approaches zero, this over here, okay, becomes zero, all right? You can check this out on your calculator. And as change in x approaches zero, this over here becomes one. You can also check this out on your calculator. So what we get is cos x, okay? Which means that if the function of x is sine x, then its derivative is cos x. If you have any questions related to this video, please leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.